Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we are going to be trying all the new offerings for the month of February 2022. I know we have Gideon's to look forward to in their internal flame cookie for Valentine's Day. They also have a fire and iced coffee which I cannot wait to try and plus they are celebrating soulfully for Black History Month and there are tons of new food items all around Disney Springs. Anywho's, let's go do this. Look at this weather out here today. It is so beautiful. We're starting off February right. Today is February 1st, so it's the first day of all those new offerings. And I can't wait because some of them I've never had before. Recently, it's been a little bit cold here in Florida, but not today. It is so beautiful out right now. 70 degrees, nice and windy, and I'm loving it. <laughs> One thing I always like to show off is the new movie signs outside AMC. And Turning Red is coming out uh, March 11th on Disney+. Plus. I'm excited to see this movie. It looks really interesting. Let me know what you guys think because I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a cute movie. First things first, Gideon's because we have to see if they have a virtual return time or if we have to wait in line. Sometimes it could be hours and usually the first day is pretty busy because everybody gets excited to come out and try the new cookies. I'm not the only one. There's actually a core following of people that come here just to try the new cookies every single month. Looks like there's no virtual return time today so it's just a standby line and from where it starts it might be about an hour. Might be an hour because we're all the way back here. I'm gonna try to time it and see how long it actually takes. Right now it's 1.40 and we got ourselves the menu so at least we can look at the uh, menu as we uh, wait in line. Here is the menu for the month of February. True love never dies and it's really cool because we saw the artist who actually does all the artwork for Gideon's at the Festival of the Arts this year at Epcot and the cookie of February, the cookie of the month is the internal flame. A cherry infused triple chocolate cookie laced with our special house made ancho, cayenne and cinnamon spice mix and then topped with chocolate covered cherries. Doesn't that sound amazing? And then they also have the fire and iced coffee. A February special, our chocolate nitro brew and a warm finish. So we're going to try both of them. I also hear tell that they have a special cake today too. So we might end up getting some cake, some cookie, some coffee. Some cake, the three C's. Cake, cookie, coffee. And it looks like we're next to go in. And guess what? It only took 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Not too shabby. If you tried last February's cookie, the internal flame, this one is different because they perfected the recipe. Instead of having bits of cherry inside the cookie, they actually cherry infused the cookie, which sounds kind of fancy, doesn't it? Cherry infused. It does look like they have a February cake slice over there. And also, it's a hot cookie hour. So between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m., you can get a hot cookie here, a hot chocolate chip cookie. I wish we can partake in the hot cookie hour, but we're already getting a lot today. We're gonna get the cake slice, we're gonna get the February cookie, the internal flame, so we're, there's no way we can put a chocolate chip cookie in the mix too. Here is the internal flame cookie. Look at that right there. It looks so, so good. And then here's the cake slice. Look at that bad boy. Holy moly. This is gonna be so good. I love the way that cake looks though. Doesn't it look so amazing? All right, it's time. We got a lot of great snacks. I'm not gonna be able to eat it all, so I'm gonna take it home with me. But we got some cake, we got some cookie, and of course, the coffee. We need the coffee. And here it is, the internal flame cake. Delicious things await, double frosted cake. Look at this bad boy. Holy moly. Oh, that looks so rich, doesn't it? I know that there's cherry icing and then they have the spicy cake mix in there so it's going to be a very rich cake with definitely a kick. So this is, this is going to be fun. So everything's basically a little bit spicy. We have the internal flame cake, the internal flame cookie, and then the fire and iced iced coffee. And I can't wait to try them all. Look at that. I love the artwork this month. It's actually really, really nice. Now, I am not a big spice kind of guy, so this is going to give you a good judge whether or not you're going to like this cookie because I eat my wings like mild sauce. So if I like it and I don't like spice, then you'll probably like it as well. But if you do love spice, I mean, it's a win-win because anything, anything spice is kind of good if you like spice, I feel like, except for people that like want all the heat. They want the burning heat. Let me know if you're one of those people that you got to have it hot. You got to have it hot. 
now let's take a look at the cookie. Kind of want to get them all out. It's a little bit of a windy day today too. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> this looks so, so good. I just like the colors. Everything looks so pretty. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try the internal flame cookie first. And of course we have to break it in half to see what it looks like on the inside. So here we go. <laughs> this looks good. There is definitely some spice in there, but not too much. This is really an amazing cookie. You have so many flavors happening at once. The cherries, the chocolate, the uh, cayenne, the cinnamon. This is so phenomenal, actually. It's really cool. Now, I still love my banana, my chocolate chip banana. This one, that one was my favorite. Not too sure where I would rank this one amongst all the other Gideon's cookies, but it is truly, really awesome. It's really, really cool. The thing that I like most is nothing really like pops out super much. Everything is a well blended like flavor. You know what I mean? Like you can taste the chocolate. It's a little bit rich. It's not too strong. And the same thing with the spice and uh, the cherries too. The cherries are evenly distributed on the top. I don't know if you can see them. I'll try to pull one off to show you, but that's where you want to get. You want to get it. Make sure you get a cherry in the bite. Right there. That's the cherry topping. That's the stuff. <laughs> so, so good. Okay, now we're gonna jump to the cake and I'm glad that we have the iced coffee. I'm gonna wait to drink that last because I definitely need something to wash it down with. I wish I can get a nice glass of cold milk. That would be really, really good. I think we'll take a little piece off the end here. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. I am excited to try this. Look at that. Wow, the combination of everything in this cake as well. The cherry frosting is probably the thing I'm looking most forward to. So here we go. I like the cake better than the cookie. <laughs> that is amazing. I would definitely say the cake is less spicier than the cookie. It's not as much, but this is so, so good. I, I, I have to say I probably like it a lot better more than the cookie. And that's the first time. That's the first time ever. Now it's time for the coffee. Oh, and I love how they have the good straws here. Ooh, ooh. There is a strong spice that hits you when you take a sip of this. Like that is amazing. I really, really like it. It is fun. Um, I still think I like the peanut butter banana combo is my favorite, but this is still really, really cool. And I don't know if you guys know this or not, whenever I make videos like TikToks or uh, you know YouTube videos, I record at the same time. So I set my camera up and I have it facing me. But look at that. Hello, friend. <laughs> This has a strong spice to it. So if you don't like spice, you're probably not gonna like this at all. I do I do like it, it's, it is really good, but it's not something I would get. If I was to come here, I would wait in line to get the peanut butter one though. I mean, but that's me though. If you like spice, you'll probably love it. I have truly made a mess out of my box though. So we got everything in there. I got the cake slice and then I got the cookies to take home. But yeah, I might have to get a new bag, a new box or a new bag, because I gotta wipe that off. Now that we're done with the cookie business, I think it's time to move along. And I'm so happy that I get to take some of these home because I put them in my freezer and they last forever. They're so, so good, especially when you heat them back up. And uh, maybe we'll look some for like some food, food items. I know there's a new suit that I want to try over at Chef Art Smith's, but there also are some amazing items for Black History Month here at the Hangar Bar. So I think we're going to check those out right now. Right here at the hangar bar, like I said, they are gonna celebrate soulfully, and Chef D, Miss D, put together some amazing items. We have Miss D's fried sweet potato pies, and then the chicken on the egg. And this all looks so, so good. Look at the sweet potato pies. Holy moly. I'm not a big fan of deviled eggs, but I think I might try it just because Miss D put it together. It does look good in the corner there, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I think we're gonna go all in here. After we get done eating here at the hangar bar, I think we're gonna head over to Enzo's Hideaway because they're doing a Valentine's Day flight. So it's a flight of different Valentine's Day adult beverages and it looks so, so pretty. I can't wait to check it out. And that's gonna be after this, I think, unless we come up with something else because that doesn't open till 4.30. I love coming to the hangar bar and usually I like to sit inside, but it's such a beautiful day out. I think we're gonna go outside and enjoy our meal with a view. 
it's a really nice day out right now and the sun is shining you get to stare at the uh, balloon here at Disney Springs you know a lot of people don't know this but that balloon isn't a hot air balloon it's actually helium like you know what I mean there's no hot air it's literally a balloon full of helium and the only thing that controls it from floating away is a, a cable attached that pulls it back down so that always blows my mind that I always point that out to people but this is why I like sitting out here look at that view isn't it amazing and also take a look over there you can see the uh, Ampere car is actually going in the water too. I've done that a lot of times. I love it. I love doing it with my mom. She thought it was the greatest thing ever. Here is the chicken on the egg and Miss D, the chef who created it, is going to explain it to us. Hi, hi guys. This is my chicken on the egg and it's basically a traditional deviled egg. Um, in my yolk filling, I do have mayo, Dijon, and I added a little pickle radish, pickle relish and cream cheese. And I topped it off with chicken and I also made a hot honey glaze sauce to go on top. Wow. And I garnished it with chives. Yeah, I can see the hot honey. Yes. That's going to be the best that sauce thing. sauce is very, very good. Well, I'm excited to try it. Yes. And this is my fried sweet potato pie. It's your traditional sweet potato filling. And I topped it off with some Merple Bay Bun, Merple Bay Bun citrus sauce. And I garnished it with the parsley gemolata. Wow. Um, and I also wrapped it in a traditional dish of an empanada. That looks so, so good. Well, thank you. And it tastes just as good. Oh, I'm excited. Thanks, Miss D. You're so welcome. Thank you. Miss D did a great job with these food items. They look so, so good. And like I said, I'm really not the biggest fan of deviled eggs, but she makes this look so appetizing. I had to try it. And who knows, maybe this will be my like go-to deviled egg experience. This might be the one that changes my mind. But those right there, those look so amazing. Oh, I was so pumped when I saw those. So we're gonna dive right on in. I think I'm gonna start with this and then that. Oh wait, no, we're gonna start with this. We're gonna start with the chicken on the egg. All right, here we go. We're gonna try the chicken on the egg first. You know, now that I think about it, I don't even taste the deviled eggs because the chicken, uh, the hot honey in the chicken just kind of like really, really steals away the dish. So I'm gonna soak up this hot honey at the bottom there, get it all in there and uh, take a big bite. My, my sweet potato pie. <laughs> this is it right here. Oh boy. This right here though, so, so amazing. And that maple bourbon sauce. Oh, look at that. Look at the sweet potato inside there. It's like such a great combination. <laughs> I'm definitely coming back to get this. Miss D, you did great. You did amazing. I know there's a couple of other things I wanna show you here at Disney Springs, but it's gonna be hard to top this right here because this is good. <laughs> we are gonna have a lot of food when we get home. Taking another to-go box with me. <laughs> because we got a lot of stuff so we're just trying everything and then taking everything that we don't eat home the most important thing is showing you guys all the new stuff but I don't want to eat too much you know that was amazing thank you Miss D for coming up with a great creation there like I really really do love those sweet potato pies I thought about it and I was like I'm happy that I'm taking some home because I get to snack on it later on and now I think uh, maybe a drink maybe we'll get ourselves a drink I thought that Chef Art Smith's homecoming was doing something special for the uh, Celebrate Soulfully, but it looks like they're closed for a special event, so it might start tomorrow, if anything, or maybe they're not doing anything special. Well, we'll find out, and we have a lot of other things we have to do today anyway. I know that there is actually a special Celebrate Soulfully burger over at Deluxe Burger, and I met the chef that actually created that too because she's over at the Hanger Bar, Chef Kate, and she was really, really nice. And I said I can try to get to it today, even though, you know what I mean? Like I said, we're eating a lot of food, but now we're gonna have some drinks, so I'll see you afterwards. I don't wanna bring too much food home, but I could eat a burger at the end of the night, maybe. I mean, that sounds pretty delicious. Our next stop is going to be here at Enzo's Hideaway Tunnel Bar. And this is a really cool, like, prohibition, speakeasy uh, bar underneath uh, Maria and Enzo's and Pizza Ponte. I love coming here, and this is where they have the Valentine's Day flight. And it's uh, three different, like, Valentine's Day drinks. I didn't get to see exactly what they wore, but they looked super pretty. And I don't think we're going to get anything to eat. I think we're just going to get the drinks, because I uh, do plan on getting some other food later on. 
much like over at the hangar bar. I'm gonna see if we can grab our drink outside because they have a nice like outdoor sitting area down here at Enzo's Hideaway Bar. I mean, I love going inside because that's the point of it is being inside of a tunnel bar, but it's such a pretty little setting outside underneath the bridge. Right here is the entrance and it's right down below here, but this is what I was talking about. Isn't it so nice and pretty out here? I love it, so peaceful and quiet. And I also like how you have to walk in here like a speakeasy. I've done a lot of videos in here and it's really fun, but today it's just about the drinks. I wish this would slide open. Like what's the password? Here it is guys, isn't this so pretty? I love it. This is seriously one of the best looking drinks I think I've ever seen. The Valentine's Day drink flight. This is a pucker up, which is absolute vodka, orange liqueur, grapefruit juice, lemon juice, strawberry syrup, and a sugar rim. And then that's a more, that's a vodka, strawberry syrup, and Bailey's, oh wow. And then Cupid's Arrow, which is orange liqueur, black cherry juice, orange juice, and lemon lime soda. And it's so photogenic too. I wish we can keep this. I don't think you can keep it, but that is such a great presentation. Let's try Pucker Up first. This is the one with the sugar rim on it. It looks so pretty, doesn't it? I, honestly, I don't even want to ruin it. Oh, wow. Hmm. That is so, so good. And now we're going to try the uh, That's Amore. And I like how they have this little tiny like valentine strawberry thing so it's gonna be a creamy drink right here because it has baileys in it so we're gonna eat the strawberry and then drink the drink oh man wow that is so good now the cupid's arrow I can't tell which one's my favorite. And they were all so good, good. They all taste different, but honestly, I think my favorite is the That's Amore. Vodka and strawberry syrup and Bailey's, so, so good. And if you uh, eat this like strawberry with it, it's like eating chocolate covered strawberries. And I love it. Like it is, this is my favorite right there. I could drink a whole drink of that. But these two were just as fun. Like these are really, really good. And it was $27. $27, kind of expensive, but they're not small drinks. They're actually pretty large, decent sized drinks. Seriously, this is really, really good. <laughs> if I was to rank them in order, it would go that's Amore, Cupid's Arrow, and then the Pucker Up. The Pucker Up's okay, it's pretty decent. It also has a lemon twist in there, and I didn't see that before. Can you see the lemon floating around? But this right here, this is my baby. <laughs> I'm gonna just sit here and sip on this all the way. Right now we're approaching on the golden hour, and look at the sun reflecting off of the Disney Springs balloon. Isn't it just so majestic? I love being here at Disney Springs during this time period. It's so beautiful out. Now it's time to move along. We're gonna make our way back on over to the other side of Disney Springs. We're gonna check out uh, Amaretz and Deluxe Burger. I wanna, if we don't get the burger, I at least wanna look at it and see what it's like. And I'm sure they have a picture outside. And I'm not too sure if we're gonna get anything in Amaretz because usually they're always sold out. But we'll, we'll, we'll try, you never know. Here is the Celebrate Soul Flea Burger over at Deluxe Burger, and wow, it's a spicy Caribbean jerk burger. And there's Chef Kate. I talked to her earlier on, and this is her like little baby. She created it, and oh man, I feel like I should get it because it just looks so good. Two press signature blend patties with spice jerk aioli, pineapple mango salsa, pepper jack, plantain sticks, lettuce, tomato, and grilled onions. I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna get it. If we can't eat it, we'll just bring it home, add a little bit more to the collection. And also, we need to stop and get Gracie Pup Cups. I've only ever had a couple burgers over here at Deluxe Burger. And they're a good burger, but it's not like the best burger in the world. I'm excited for this one though, because it does have a lot of like unique things to it, including the pineapple mango salsa and the uh, plantain. So it's definitely gonna be something a little bit different. I've never had plantains on a burger before. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to experience this. Another thing I always want to point out is take a look at the sauces they have here. So you can use all these sauces. They have buffalo ranch, garlic ranch. They have stout barbecue. Wow, stout barbecue, chipotle mayo, truffle aioli. And I like how they have it in refrigeration unit. 
keeps it nice and cold and at the proper temperature. Sometimes I feel like sauces that are left out is a little questionable because it's kind of sitting out in that hot air and it's got to get crusty in there. At least this way it keeps it cold and fresh. And here it is guys. That is a big big burger and you know what I have to tell you guys I normally like all my life I used to eat burgers plain nothing on it like I would eat burger and bun but ever since I started doing this channel I've experienced and uh, you know experimented with different things and really like widened my palate even when it comes to cheese I can tell you I used to not eat any cheese now I kind of like some cheese but I don't like like a lot of cheese. Pepper Jack, it's kind of a little iffy with me. I left it on there just in case I can try it. I would have never gotten the spicy aioli before, but it's all like fun. It's all experiencing new things. And here we go, a brand new thing. Some plantains on a burger with a spicy aioli. <laughs> And that is amazing. I really, really do like it. I can taste a little spice there with the spicy aioli. Uh, a little bit of burn, but that's okay. We all need a little spice in our life. And I love the pineapple uh, salsa. That's so, so good. And overall, I really like this burger. Like, it's it's a decent-sized burger, and I would definitely come back and get it again. I didn't taste a lot of plantains in there, though, so I think I'd have to take another bite just to see if we can get a plantain or two in there. But, yeah, I approve. Good job, Chef Kate. You did amazing. Seriously, you should definitely be proud of this burger. It is really, really good. You definitely have to be very cautious, though. When you take a bite of this, it kind of goes everywhere. It's a messy burger, but feel like some of the best burgers are messy burgers. I mean, if you can handle a chili cheeseburger, you can definitely handle this one. Another thing I want to point out, that burger was only $12.99. I don't even think you can get a burger in a quick service location for $12.99 in the parks. Like, I don't even think that's possible. I'm pretty sure the last time I checked, they were like $14, $15. So that is super cheap, actually. For $12.99, like, you know what I mean? And it adds something uh, different. The burger patties are different. It's more of a smash patty. It's not like a frozen puck, I don't think. And, uh, yeah, it, it adds a little signatureness to it. So I guess that is a good offering for burgers here at uh, the Lux Burger. I, I really never thought of it that way, but it, it is kind of making sense now. Now we gotta keep moving along and it's starting to get dark out. We've been here for such a long time. I know sometimes uh, you really can't tell how long the day goes by because I kind of compress the video like in oh, like 20 or 30 minutes, but we've been here for hours. Like, <laughs> it is mind blowing. Another thing I wanted to point out to you guys is my soul shirt, my soul Roosevelt. And a lot of you guys don't know, this is one of my favorite shirts. And it was the first shirt I've ever got from Roosevelt. And I love it. I've wore it so many times. And I figured since we were going to come out today and we were going to celebrate soulfully, I'd wear a soul shirt with my soul cat. My soul cat on my soul shirt. I think we'll tuck into Amaretz here just to see what they got going on, but any of the big special cakes that they might have had out probably has been sold out since 12 o'clock noon. I never get one of them, but they might have some other like special treats that they got going on for February and definitely for Valentine's Day. It looks like they have a Celebrate Soulfully with a Soulfully Tiana cake. Now, like I said, it's pretty much a guarantee it's going to be sold out, but at least there's a picture so I can show you guys. Here it is, and look at Tiana there at the bottom. Chocolate chiffon cake layered with brownie, chocolate chips, and a Diplomat cream, $22. But it looks so pretty, doesn't it? Look at this special thing that they're doing right now. Amaretz Signature Sparkling Wine. A glass of rosé topped with white chocolate ears. And look how pretty that is. That is really nice for $19, $19. Is that like just for, I, is it for the bottle or the glass? I guess it's just for the glass and then you get the uh, chocolate topper there. But that's super pretty. And they do have some other stuff down here for Valentine's Day that I wanna show you as well. Take a look at this pina colada cheesecake. It looks so nice and it has a little heart on the top of it there. Isn't that super pretty? And you won't believe it, the one time the cake is available is the day that I cannot fit anything else in me. There's no way, but you look at that. We can actually get a Tiana cake if we wanted to. I feel like I'm gonna regret not getting this. It's $22, but I have so many leftovers already. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. I think I'm gonna have to pass. One day will come though. One day we'll be united. 
One thing I have to point out though, I think that pina colada is always on the menu and uh, there's rum inside the heart. I think it's just the way that it is. I don't know if it's special for Valentine's Day or not, but I can't believe they had the cake available. And I just, I, there's no way. I have so much, but I really want to try it. So maybe we'll come back like another time. We'll definitely try it another time. It also looks like M80s is playing tonight. This is a real popular band here in Florida. Wow, look at the look at the crowd. Look at that. They actually have multiple souls all night tonight. You know what sound that means, you guys? It's the keyboards on track. Now they're playing uh, Jesse's Girl here. That is really awesome. That is magic. <laughs> I've seen these guys in Epcot plenty of times before, and it's always an amazing show. I'm so happy to see them down here at Disney Springs. Now it's time to move along, and I think I'm gonna stop over to BB Wolf's to see if they actually changed out their hot dog, because for the longest time they had the Mardi Gras dog here almost all year round, and now we're coming back up into Mardi Gras season again, and they might as well just keep it going. Like, you know what I mean? If they've had it this long. I don't think they have any new special hot dogs, and I think they just permanently added the Mardi Gras dog to the menu. Like, it used to be on a little sign on the outside, because it used to stop here every time, because I wanted to see what the like special hot dog would be. But uh, yeah, now it's here. It's the Mardi Gras craw dog. I would like to come out and try the Three Little Pigs one day, but there it is. Isn't that so funny that they just added it permanently to the menu? The Italian sausage I've had before was really, really good here. And the Hawaiian Island Dog. These are good, good places to actually get food. And unique food, you know what I mean? Not like just generic hot dogs. Like this is something special. Another thing I always like to check up on is the world's greatest marshmallows because those were always interesting And I always like to see if they have any new flavors Sometimes they don't and sometimes you just have like the classics like the golden marshmallow That was really cool and I think they had pistachio mushrooms at one time too But we'll see if they've got anything special happening around I always like to do videos like this where I come down to Disney Springs Like every month like in the beginning of the month and just show all the new items because it's always something new Like they're always changing and Gideon's kind of brought that vibe into the springs you know what I mean Gideon's brought over the cookies every single month and the coffees and the cakes and I started noticing a lot of other places starting to do monthly specials and I really like it so keep it up keep going Disney Springs I'll be here for you as I was walking over to the world's greatest marshmallows I was walking on this grate and look it's like a hidden BB-8 <laughs> isn't that funny <laughs> Look at all these marshmallows. Of course, I love the golden champagne marshmallows. And uh, what was uh, my other favorite one? Oh, the birthday cake one was really good. But these are some of the newer ones. They have a strawberry chocolate chip marshmallow right there. And then a king cake just in time for Mardi Gras. And I like it. And also a rainbow cookie. I've had a lot of cookies today. So you can always stick with the gin. And is this glue vine? Wow. That's, I didn't notice that before. You know, Dwight would love some glue vine. <laughs> I'm not too sure about the glue vine marshmallow. I wonder what that tastes like. I should have bought it just to see like what it tastes like, but I think I might pass because it's a spiced wine or hot wine, I would always think. So I don't know what that would trans like transition into marshmallow taste. What would that be like? It's kind of mind blowing. I feel like I need to try it one day. Maybe we're gonna keep notes to come back and do this. <laughs> 
I was just about to start making my way out and I realized I didn't stop and get pup cakes for Gracie and then I seen the happy hound here so I kind of want to take a peek see what they got going on in here but I don't want to get any snacks for her because she loves her pup cakes she's very very picky but they do have a lot of cool stuff look at these chew toys here I don't know if this one makes sounds oh yeah oh she would like that and also she might want a white paw you never know get her a little white paw or a uh, puppuccino she does love her puppuccinos though look at this Starbucks Frenchie roast these are really really cute I should get her a little squeaker toy she destroys them in seconds though if I gave her like one of these that little squeaker would be out of it and laying on the carpet within like probably two minutes but let's go get the pup cakes before I forget again because I don't want to go home empty-handed. She does love him. She's out. I think the last time I got her some was like two, maybe three weeks ago. And you only get three to a pack. Like that's all you get is like three in each one of them. So I don't give her one every single day. But I give her like one every two or three days. And I think she just had her last one the other day not too long ago. I love sprinkles. You know they got their own jingle here. You can hear it at the ATM but it looks like there's a line there. So we're not going to get the cupcake ATM. We're just going to go inside. And plus we'll see if they have any human cupcakes. Some human cupcakes. Looks like they got a new self-serving thing here like Wawa or Sheets. Tap here to start. We don't want any of these. They have cupcakes by flavor. Raspberry chocolate chip. Carrot cake, banana, vegan red velvet birthday we need the pup cakes though ice cream valentine's oh they have a nice boutique that you can get a bunch of valentine's day boxes for that's actually re really cool red box i love you for 80 dollars but where are the puppies oh i think here they are there you go that's what we want nine dollars for a pup cake a pup pack <laughs> it's always so bright in here so bright clean and vibrant I remember when it first opened up in here, they had big plans to have like an open kitchen here where you can see them prepare the cupcakes and they had plenty of registers and it definitely quieted down a lot. Like when this first opened up, it was so jam packed in here. It was like a wait for Gideon's. Like I remember it and it's changed so much. Now this is kind of used just for storage over here. It looks like they really don't do much here and they just have the cupcakes ready to go over there. Gracie loves sprinkles, but I don't think they have the bones anymore. It looks like they're all out, but she'll still love them. She'll still love these, so we'll uh, go home and I'll show you as she gets to enjoy her little pup cup. Is there a princess in here? There's one! <laughs> I see a princess! I see a princess! Yes, I do! You want a pup cake? Huh? You want a pup cake? You see a butt? Oh! <laughs> do you want a pup cake? You want a pup cake? Huh? You want one? Right here. Oh, yes. You ready? Here you go. Oh, that's the good stuff, huh? She always flips it over like that. That's the way. Your piggy says hello. We'll eat your pup cake. Now she is happy. She has her pup cake and she loves it. And, uh,. That's going to be it for us. <gasps> My hat. I'm bald. <laughs> Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I had so much fun hanging out at Disney Springs today. Seriously, I had a blast. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.